Growing up, I haven't always been the brightest crayon in the box. Okay, I'm not saying I was stupid, but I'd say I was lazy as a box when it came to schoolwork. I'm talking about the third grade in particular, where the notes aren't even that much compared to secondary school. But what bothered me is not just because I was young, but it was for the fact that I used to actively participate in class, but fucked up when it came to putting shit on paper i don't know why but every time the teacher starts to write shit on the board my mind traveled to a different dimension where i could just daydream about shit that would never even happen yo what if i was a secret ninja like a ninja nobody knows that i'm a ninja then I'm giant look robots come into the school I'm and start to terrorize I'm everybody by the way, I can like a watch like What's wrong with this boy, eh? Kala Luka! What? I, Kala Luka, are you sleeping? No, 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 I'm not. Kala Luka, can you please tell me what I was saying on the board just now? Now, what have I just wrapped on the board? Um... Luka, I'm waiting. Tell me what I'm from saying just now, now. Um, madam, you are talking about robots, right? Oh, he needs God. some it's milk. So problematic that it attracted the concern of my parents because my teachers constantly called my parents over and over again to tell them about my complete disability to learn. And if there was something you must know about my parents, is that they cannot tolerate such behavior for one they are black and the other reason is that they wouldn't tolerate my incompetence because they themselves worked extra hard in school so because they love their beloved dear son so damn much they beat my ass like every good parent would do to their son right and because of this I had no choice but to pay attention in class and because even though my, I, I, was in, I was an excellent student, okay, I was intelligent when it came to putting my mind into school if I was to just 100% focus. But my grades started to drop because of the lack of concentration. And by the way, I think the reason could have been, uh, I, I actually started to drink liquor at, at such a young age, you know what I'm saying? Like around 8 years old, I started to drink liquor, but that is a story for another day so here's how it went down every day at school we would be given notes on the board to write down and uh, what i had to do was copy down all of these notes and show my parents and when i got home if i didn't show my parents my parents would beat my ass like but on the other hand if i didn't <laughs> if i just went lazy and did not write shit down if i did not write shit down <laughs> long story short i would be visited by mr whip whip that's why i'm talking about getting a nice ass whooping from my dad <laughs> long story short it worked and uh it took a while it took a year but after that, I started to get better grades and start, try, started at least trying to focus more in school. And I could say even the teachers were kind of impressed with me, okay? So, yeah, I improved. So, yeah, nice work, mom and dad, especially you, dad. The ass whooping really worked. Continue whooping my ass. Crap! I'm just joking. Like, it only takes a few years for your parents to realize that you're too big to continue getting your ass whooped so yeah moral of the story a whip is the best weapon against laziness in a child whether black whether white whether chinese whether jew <laughs> thanks for watching hey what's up fam it's your boy triple k the juice king i hope y'all enjoyed this story it took me a really long time to make it and uh yeah Please, if you watch this video until the end, I'm really grateful and I forever will be. Please make sure you're not only watching it on Facebook, okay? Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just subscribe and turn on that notification icon so, uh, you know, uh, you can help me out a little bit, you know? I'm going to keep making this.